So in today's video, we are going to build a chatbot from scratch in Azure. And what this chatbot will do is it will tell us everything about cybersecurity framework. As you can see, there's a lot of documentation around this framework. So we're going to put all this information in a chatbot and in place of searching this website, we will come and talk to our chatbot. So that's what we are going to do today. And after building the chatbot, we may write also code to access this chatbot services through our code. So I can put the chatbot on my website or I can put any kind of UI on top of it. So let's see how to go about it. So the first thing we have to do is to create a storage account. Click here, storage account. And I already have a storage account created, but let's go ahead and create a new storage account. You choose your subscription, your resource name, and then give a storage account name. I will say NIST storage. Account name is already taken. This is very annoying, Microsoft. Why are you looking this name in a global space? why it cannot be contained to my subscription or resource group it's very annoying but anyway let's give a make it a unique name so i'll call it azure bits nist storage underscore is not allowed dash is not allowed another very annoying thing microsoft please take note um, now let's go ahead and create this storage Okay, now this storage is getting created and getting deployed. So now go to, let's go to this storage. Here, go to resource. We are here. Now let's go and create a container here. And container name we can call a NIST container. Okay. And now click on the container and upload our files to this container browse for files here i have some nist files downloaded pdf uh, let's select this and upload so these four files got uploaded in my container now let's go and create an azure open ai service how to do that Let's figure it out. Create Azure Open AI Service. So here's Azure Open AI Service. I am going to create a new service. Create. Choose the resource group. And the name I want to give it Nest Open. AI service pricing tier keep it standard and let's do next access this resource I'll leave it as is default I'll leave it obviously in production you're going to put proper values for tag etc but this is a demo so we want to move fast and we'll go choosing a lot of defaults here so this is again it's deploying and let's wait the service to get deployed okay it's got deployed let's go to resource now here as you can see i am inside azure open ai and i can see my service called nist open ai service now i have to do a couple of things i have to do model deployment interestingly um, you get this message it says it's moved to azure open ai studio so let's go there, manage deployment. Here, now we are in Azure Open AI Studio. So we have to do here a couple of things. One is we have to do a model deployment first. So let's choose a model here. The model, I'm going to choose GPT-40. And it's getting deployed, global standard deployment type. And then second thing we have to do is go back to deployment. 
and again click on deploy base model and then click on this inference task this is important if you wouldn't have been selecting this then you will get issues in in later steps so pay attention to this we are doing two things here we are deploying the model and then we are choosing the embeddings so when you click on embeddings you have these three options i'll choose this ada here you can go ahead and read about all different kind of embeddings embedding is very important but here as you can see everything is very simple you can choose one of it i'm going to choose ada maybe one of the uh, later time i may make a separate video just only on embeddings so let's choose this ada for now and move on confirm uh, deployment type standard and now i'm deploying it now let's click on deployment and see two things are deployed one is model and one is my embedding now we have to go and deploy a search service so let's go back to our azure home page and search do ai search you get this ai search click here and let's go ahead and create a new azure ai search service and service name i can give nest search service as you can see i can give here dashes in the name interestingly in some of the services you can do that in some of the services you cannot it's central us i'm going to leave it default again you should choose the proper region as wherever your search service and wherever your data is otherwise when you are using your search service and wherever you have created your container the data will be moving between two regions but anyway for this demo i'm just leaving it default and then you create the search service okay it's got deployed now let's go to the resource here in the resource as you can see there's an option import and vectorize your data so that's what we're going to do we click here import we already have a storage account where we have kept our data which we call azure bits nist storage click this one in the storage container uh, we don't care about the deletion tracking and manage identity at this moment go through click next okay on the next screen it's asking about our open ai service it's good that we have created the service already here nest open ai service we're going to choose and model deployment text embedding ada o2 remember we created this model we deployed this model in the azure open ai service authentication type i'm leaving it api key i have to click this button only then this next become highlighted no images no extract text from image and say next scheduling i'm leaving it to only once otherwise you can choose but remember this is expensive because this will creating indexing and all but in production maybe you have to do custom or daily or things like that and then click create create succeeded you can go here and search but let's see if it works now because this index is still currently in progress so where it is if you want to see that let's go here to the search service where we were and you can see we have this index which is in progress uh docs succeeded none and here is the index so there's no document is indexed so far it takes couple of minute but after that we can go back to overview and then click on search in explorer and we can try it out see let's see if i type nist here uh, cannot complete because it's still going on so let's give it few minutes and then we'll try again okay now it works so my search is working 
let's go back to the open ai so here we see our deployment is here now let's go and click on chat deployment is selected as gpt4 this is one of the deployment we have for this one and now add our data here my data source is azure ai search which we just created and the name of it search index add vector search to this search resource select an embedding model and now click next and leave it default search type and existing semantic search configuration and i will choose this api key and then say next now let's do a test what is NIST security framework okay everything is working perfectly the chatbot is responding so in place of figuring out about NIST and going to their website and searching something you can come to this chatbot and talk to it let's give it another try so my next question may be, tell me about audit record retention. Okay, as you can see, my chatbot is responding and it is taking only the information which I gave it uploaded the NIST document. Second thing is you can click here, deploy, and you can deploy this as a web or as a new copilot in Copilot Studio so you can do this uh, deploy as a web app. It will take some time, but I will deploy it. And maybe in our next video, we will show how this service, specifically this service, you can use from your own code using Python. So this is a very quick overview how to build a chatbot from scratch. As you can see, things work very, very smoothly, and we were quickly able to deploy this chatbot. But in real life, you will face a lot of issues specifically around the security. And as you know, in cloud, all the security thing has to be pretty tightly locked down. So uh, you may come across other issues. As you've seen here, it's very easy now to create a chatbot specifically which is just contained to your specific documents but this is a demo so everything went very fast and and there was no error because a lot of things i already taken care of what will happen in production when we'll go in a real environment everything will be locked down you will get a lot of security issues and permission issues so you have to make sure that all those things are taken care of and all this data this chatbot and everything is tightly locked down for your organization so when you want to deploy this in production you have to take care of a couple of things like set up a service account roles identities vpn etc and and connect these chatbot programmatically to your application you have to write code and write lambda behind this so it will be bringing the new document as the as the time goes on because the documents which are there which i uploaded can be stale so you have to have some process which is bringing the new documents and refreshing these indexes all those things and as you see we have multiple models so here we just use 4.0 of chat gpt but there are models from amazon there are open models so you can choose any of those models and you have to test with different models to find out which one is the best one for your use case you have to have ci cd integration and you know proper management of code and deployment come up with some automated testing strategy to test for the quality of the responses and, and make sure that you have a proper permission boundaries around this document. And this thing I showed you in on Microsoft, maybe in my next video, I'll show you how we can do the same thing on AWS and on Google. So you should do, I believe, all three clouds and see which one is best as per your cost and performance and quality. 
And then you have to set up some kind of a automated process way to take the feedback from the user, whatever users are searching, are they happy or not? As you can see here, you can give thumbs up and thumbs down for the answer. So you have to take this feedback back to the model and maybe you have to fine tune this model with the answers you are providing or you have to change the source document itself. So that's another process you should create to take an automated feedback from the user and retrain the model and deploy them. And for that, you have to automate again to harvest the logs and monitor the answer and responses of the chatbot. And I believe you should build a multiple chatbots and give them a very narrow responsibility. So this chatbot I created just replying me about the list. So you can create another chatbot with just reply about your intranet, things like that. So it's, it's, it's easier to figure it out, their quality, test, and redeploy them. And then on top of this, you can have another agent as such, which can direct the user, uh, user query to different agents, to different chatbots. So there are a lot can be done here. So don't fool by the simplicity of this creating of the chatbot. For a production quality chatbot, you may have to do a lot of work. So be aware of that and then, and, and just don't go to your manager and promise them, hey, in two hours I can create a chatbot. Yes, you will create, but a lot of things will be missing. So I'm just highlighting all the high level points. You should address that before you deploy any of these chatbot. And one more thing which we have not mentioned anywhere, which is about the compliance. The chatbot is answering your user query. You have to make sure all the answers coming out of chatbot, they are compliant. We've seen too many news from Microsoft and Google. Both of them made big, huge mistakes. The chatbot was talking something which is not safe and secure and not proper. So you have to do that also before you can say, I can release the chatbot for the public. So compliance is a big component. Don't forget about it. Thank you for your time. And let me know what else you'd like to see here. And please let your feedback keep coming. Thank you.